News this was Tuesday. The moment Gonzaga women's head basketball coach Lisa Fortier was pulled off the floor. She took off her heels right there and she ran out during the fourth quarter of the WCC title game against BYU. We were told at the time there was a family emergency. Well, we later learned that her brother Hayden had passed away from complications from muscular dystrophy. Portier and her family have been receiving an outpouring of support online and Creme 2's Alexa Block is here to talk to a little bit more about what's happened. That's right. I've been checking her uh, Twitter feed uh, all day today and there's been a lot of activity mm -hmm. on there. Uh, Coach Fortier tweeted this yesterday. She says her family is heartbroken. They're thankful for all the community's support and continued prayers at this time. And it was really amazing to see all the college women's basketball coaches that um, have rallied around this family. Eastern Washington's coach here, Wendy Schuler, wrote, God has a special angel now. Loola Marymount University's head coach, Charity Elliott, says she is praying for the Fortier family. And the Colorado Buffs women's coach, J.R. Payne, also offered her support and love during this difficult time. Mm. Yeah, I think the, the athletic director for Gonzaga on Tuesday, Mike Roth, kind of summed up the situation correctly. At the time, we didn't know what exactly mm -hmm. happened. He just said there was a family emergency. And he said, you know, in this moment, uh, this is just a basketball game. This can be placed on hold. Family is the most important thing right here. And I think that's what these coaches were kind of showing there, that they probably have played it played each other and been rivals on mm -hmm. the court, but that kind of falls to the wayside when something like this happens. Sure. My husband actually was at that game. We just got back from Las Vegas and he said it was very obvious that something big had happened. Right. He knew everyone kind of knew and was hoping that it wasn't something to do with their children. Everyone recognized that she wouldn't have left the, the side of the sure. game like that unless it was a big deal. And so it was very obvious at that very moment that nothing else mattered except her being able to go where right. she needed to be. That's very true. Yes. So we reached out to GU's athletic director, um, excuse me, their athletics department, and they said that right now they don't have any plans to honor Hayden, but of course it just happened, and they're still trying to work out everything at this point.